Uh, can you tell me about the initial research that you did and how that influenced the programme? Yes, before my appointment, a um, small study was done to underpin the application that was made to the Bearing Foundation, and there were some quite interesting findings. We spoke before about the stone of deprivation in Manchester, and within a particular lower income bracket, we found that after retirement, engagement with the arts tends to turn off. We also found that there were other practical barriers as well to ongoing engagement with arts and culture. Things like the times that things are programmed, a lot of older people were unhappy about getting into the city centre during uh, night time and evening performances weren't viewed as very popular at all. There were issues too about transport links into the city centre, um, the cost as well of tickets, theatre tickets, at a time when people were feeling the squeeze to be asked to pay £15, £20 pounds for a concert ticket or theatre ticket was deemed to be a little bit too steep. And how has the programme addressed these findings? One of the key initiatives that I wanted to let you know about was something called a cultural champion scheme. These are people who are placed in communities and what we're trying to do with them is to get them excited and enthused about the cultural offer. That means that we give those people access to tickets and invitations to theatre previews, exhibition previews and so on and they spread the word to their communities. We're really keen that they're aware too of all the available uh, discounts for group bookings and that sort of thing and we facilitate the transport issues by having an arrangement with uh, Ring and Ride to ensure that throughout the city all those sort of community transport schemes are available to older people for organised trips.